welcome to Chili's. So I took to Twitter asking, give me some questions for a q and A. I'm gonna answer them. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Which booktuber would you want by your side if you were in the Hunger Games? First of all, I took a quiz and it said I would die at the cornucopia, so I would not be in the Hunger Games. I would be <laughs> dead, so I wouldn't need a partner. Hardcover or paperback? Paperback. Joel said, hashtag Woel or nah. Um, obviously, hashtag Woel. Ben Parrish or Evan Walker? Evan Walker. They're from The Fifth Wave, if you don't know. Read the book. So good. I think the main thing I like about Evan is like he's got that lumberjack feel to him. I don't know if you can relate to that sentence, but every time I think about Evan Walker, I'm like plaid, scruffy lumberjack. So good. Ben kind of grew on me but I'm in love with Evan, oh baby. What's the number one place you want to travel to? This is ridiculously vague, but Europe. I just really wanna go to England, I really wanna go to Germany, I really wanna go to Slovenia, I really wanna go to Greece. Oh man, I really wanna go to Alaska, I know that's in the US, but it's like, dreams. I want to go to Peru. I just, there's so many different places. The world is huge. Do you read reviews on books before you buy them? No. I don't actively go, there's a book, let me check the reviews before I buy it because I like going into things blindly. I like forming my own opinion. In the future, would you rather be a book writer or a book reader? I know for a fact I'm gonna be a book reader for the rest of my life, so that's gonna remain intact. As far as being an author, I think because of the reading and because me being an English major, a lot of people assume I want to be a writer, which isn't true. I'm very self-critical on writing. It's really hard for me to ever enjoy something I write. I'm so bad at plotting and I have no ideas and my characters are all bland and copies of other characters that I like. At this point in time, I don't see a book ever happening. Maybe that'll change in the future, but I think it'd be nice to be an author. I would love to write something that people enjoy. What is the meaning of life? Well, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ah, uh, 10 years, 28, sheesh. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> the dream life I have for myself at that age is living in New York City, which is probably not gonna happen. I wanna work in publishing. I wanna have a cute boyfriend. I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully doing what I wanna do. Hopefully not dead. Hopefully in a relationship if not married. We'll see. If you could go out with Warner, oh my god. I haven't read these questions before filming this, by the way. If you could go out with Warner on a date to any place, where would you go and what would you do? Well, stop, Whitney. Probably just go out to dinner and be boring. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is just go to a dinner and be like, so tell me about yourself. Like, that's so elegant and simple. So that's what we would do. If you played Juliet in the Shatter Me TV show, who would you like to be your Warner? Shout out to all the people saying me for the TV show, first of all. One of my number one asked questions is, who would you fan cast for Warner? Which is number one, my imagination, because no one lives up to that expectation. But number one fan cast is Hunter Parrish, but it would be horrible if I was doing the TV show with Hunter Parrish because I'm 6'2", and Hunter Parrish is 5'7", so... What are your thoughts on how Tumblr people sometimes handle racial issues? Recently, I had someone ask me on Tumblr what my opinion about the Sandra Bland thing was. I'm definitely following that story. I think it's really suspicious and I really agree with all the people that are saying I don't think she would kill herself. So I definitely think there's something weird going on about that and I really support her and her family. But. I did not answer that question because between working, I didn't get a chance to answer it. And a day later, they came back and messaged me, well, since you didn't answer that question, I think you're secretly racist. So my opinion on Tumblr about racial issues, I think they've been staying woke, but they're really sensitive about it. So I try, that's why I don't talk about it a lot. That's why I'm really nervous saying what I've just said because controversy, I'm afraid of controversy. So there we have it. I'm not racist, I just don't like controversy. What is your favorite thing about Warner? 
I can't say his first name, but I see it. It's great. Love it. My favorite thing about Warner. That's like naming a favorite child. The jacket scene in Unravel Me is my favorite thing about Warner. Someone just asked me Warnet with a question mark. I agree. What is your number one spot to read? Right here. On my bed. It's me in my natural habitat. Why do you think anime and manga are viewed as weird, especially here in America? I don't watch anime and I don't read manga. I think it's something that you have to have like an acquired taste for and I know that sounds super fancy but like I don't think just the average person will enjoy watching anime. So maybe that's why there's a bit of a stigma behind it is that like if I can't enjoy it why do you enjoy it? I don't know. Good question. What's one thing that has changed and shaped you into the wonderful person you are today? Like a movie or a book? Not Shatter Me. Why not Shatter Me? Now this isn't a movie or a book but I think Tumblr? <laughs> really? Because, okay, I think if you talked to me before I had my Tumblr, you would notice I was a lot less open about things like sexism and racism and the whole LGBT thing. I would be totally more closed off to that. I think I have to give a lot of credit to Tumblr for making me so aware of issues in those fields. I cannot actually speak about any of this because I just... It's so hard for me to talk about topics like that because I'm just, I don't want to hurt feelings. Uh, there really aren't any books or movies that changed me. Like I didn't finish something and go, oh wow, I'm changed. Except Chatter Me, but you've said not Chatter Me. <laughs> what is the worst sentence you've ever read in a book? Oh my god. <clears throat> Adam. What's a fun fact about you that not many people may know? I've never had guacamole and I don't wish to try it. Your most embarrassing moment? The most embarrassing will not be shared on the internet, but here's something that was horrid. This was my junior year and I was walking into class and that was the phase of my life where I always wore a pencil in my bun. So I'm just walking to class, minding my business, staying in my lane. I feel someone tap me on the shoulder and I was like, okay. So if I'm being tapped on the shoulder, that means it's one of my friends walking down the hall tapping me, like playing a game on me, like, oh, I'm gonna tap her, then I'm gonna turn around and pretend it wasn't me. So I know this is one of my friends and I whip around and I go, what? And there's no one there except this one kid like five feet away from me and he just stops and looks at me and we're both just, like, st it's horrid and then I look down and my pencil's on the ground because my pencil had fallen out of my hair, tapped my shoulder, and then dropped. And I just yelled at a poor kid in the hall. And then he bent down and got the pencil for me and then walked away. It was horrible. If that kid's watching this, I'm sorry. What is the last thing you dreamed about? Okay. I remember this. I was in like a canyon with my friend Christina and we were swimming in like really murky water at the bottom of the canyon. That's all I remember. And we were like hiking together. Yeah. <laughs> What's your all time favorite pick me up meal? What's a pick me up meal? I want one. What part of college are you most excited for this fall? Probably just the independence because there's so many times a day where I just, I sit in my room and I'm like, I want to be alone. I need to be parentless. The fact that I can do what I want and my mom's not like, it's 12, 11. Why aren't you in bed yet? Really tired of parentals. I'm ready for that to be gone. But I'm sure like a week after I move in, I'm gonna be like, where's my mom? What would your dream book be about? <laughs> Shatter me number four. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could s That's inappropriate. Do you always wear pants while filming? No. <laughs> right now I'm in PJs, but a lot of times, no. Do you like to read outside in the summer? No, it is hot. What's your dream job? Epic Reads, Tea Time Girl. Hollering at those live shows. But really, I do want to work at HarperCollins. My headband is falling off. Preferably as like an editor or something, but I want to work just any job in publishing. Have me answer emails all day, I don't care. Or I'd work at Penguin or, you know, any publishing house anywhere. Hire me in five years. How can I be as cool as you? Step one, become trash. What camera do you use? The Canon Rebel T1i, don't buy it, it's horrible. Oh, Spanish. Love it, let's try it. Ah. Brizias de Volver a uh, Intenta con el Espe Espanol. I don't know what that means, but I agree. Who would win in a fight, Warner, Four, or Will Herondale? 
Did you purposefully choose two characters that I hate and put them in a category with Warner? Obviously Warner. Can floor bench press 315 didn't think so. Warner or cats? Warner. I'm not even like trying to choose Warner for every single one of these, but you guys are making it way too easy. What would you do if you met Warner in real life? <sighs> Probably run or ignore him and hope he doesn't see me. You have to give me really specific terms on how we would meet. Like, is Juliet there? Does Juliet exist? Is it this world or their world? Specify and then come back and ask. What is your favorite Phantom song? Okay. This is like the most random little teeny, it's like literally a minute of singing, but it's, I remember. But it's right after she wakes up after music of the night and she's like, I remember that I was missed. That entire part, oh, yes. Okay, so pretty. Closely followed by just the Phantom of the Opera because classic. And that was everything. This question and answer took a long time because I like to talk about myself. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want me to do more Q&As, let me know. If you thought this was boring, let me know. I just think it's fun to talk about myself. I don't think I've done a Q&A ever. No, I did one in like 2012, but I'm pretty sure one of the questions was what's your favorite character? And like three of them were Adam Kent, so. <laughs> I might go driving at a McFlurry because I'm feeling it and otherwise hope you all are having a nice day. Hope you all know what McFlurry is. Hope you all have access to one. Until next time, thank you all for watching this Q&A. I will see you sometime. That's not, I don't know. What, what is that outro? Goodbye everyone.